Hello guys, Technique here and in this video I'm going to show you a new ROM which has been uh, released two days ago or so. It's called the Tesla OS and if you remember my uh, previous videos, I talked about this ROM or Xperia L which is, uh, there's nothing changed but here it is on HTC One M7 as well. It's uh, also had the latest, latest version of uh, Lollipop which is 5.1.1. Uh, I am a stock kernel without any GFs. I did a super clean installation from uh, TW Air uh, Recovery and uh, pretty much it's really simple. It's really clean and smooth. Uh, the only problem that I had with this screen recorder, as you can see, the audio quality is very bad comparing to other ROMs. But there are a couple of things to note before I talk about this ROM as a whole. First of all, it's really simple, it's really clean and fast. The zip file that comes with this ROM is only 270 megabytes, which is really impressive comparing to other uh, ROMs. It is half and uh, quarter of other ROMs. Uh, and also, it's based on Synergy mode as well as Spoon ROM and AwaKP ROM. So, be sure uh, to know that it has many edit features as well as customization, and the performance is really nice. And I don't know about Battery Life, I'll leave the Comment down in the description below if I uh, if I know about the battery life. But uh, for now, let's talk about the features and the uh, look of this ROM. Again, it's based on Synergy Mode 12, so you get the Synergy Mode launcher with the tons of customization options. In here, you have the home screen settings, wallpapers, widgets, and settings. You can go ahead and do it. And uh, on the first boot, you have very similar to Synergy Mode interface. You got the dialer. From Sangemon, as well as there is nothing changed here, just the typical stuff. You got the messages, the browser, which is really fast and it's an OSP browser. You also get the camera, which is really nice, and it's actually the Sangemon camera with nothing uh, special. It has the 1080p video recording on the front and back camera. It also has the advanced manual exposure, power shutter, and bright screen. So whenever you take a photo, the screen is brighter to 6 or 100%. And the first thing you will notice is that it has the theme, which is changed from Synergy Mode 12. It's a black and white theme, and uh, I, don't know, I don't think it's pretty, but it's here. And in settings, you have the typical stuff for Synergy Mode 12, as well as some edit features. And all these edit features on Tesla settings, you will find it here. Let's start from the buttons. You got the backlight option. You also have the power menu. And so it's a really good thing. You can customize the power menu on your needs. For example, I like to keep it the reboot menu, screenshot and airplane mode. I don't use pro profile features, so it's a really good thing. I don't have it. As you can see, it's really simple and clean. Next, you get the type cool sign mode stuff from remapping your on-screen buttons as well as volume button wake up screen and control the ringtone volume or the media volume which is really cool and you will find it really useful the gesture control is gesture anywhere is here I won't talk much about this ROM because I talked about this in the Xperia review it's the same ROM on HTC One and Seven, so there's nothing to talk about just check out my Xperia L video but here I'll concentrate on the features that come with this ROM as on HTC One M7. You also have the lock screen, uh, the typical pattern, pin, password, or swipe. Uh, you also have the owner info. And you got the notification drawer, which is very cool. And I don't know why other ROMs don't have this. Uh, you have the quick pull down from right or left. You have the show weather, as well as select order tiles. And you can remap it. There are some ed edit features here, including the light display, location, sync, USB tethering. And what I like about the settings is that it had the show brightness slider. You had the advanced location settings. If you tap the uh, Wi-Fi here, it's really cool. You also have the en enlarge the first row. And uh, let's make this so. Let's uh, dot show the brightness slider. As you can see, this is really cool. This is really a good thing for themers because it doesn't take too much space. And everything is here. We have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, lock screen, portrait or timeout here. 
and what I like about this room you can slide on this text part to change the brightness and this way you don't have to have the brightness slider on the um, notification drawer it's really cool guys check it out if you want because it's a really cool thing you have notification do have the headset notifications from the uh, other rooms too but here we can customize the smoother time timeout or anything else here you also get the status bar and uh, this is a really cool thing you can customize the date style as well as the uh, lowercase or uppercase the date format you can go crazy about the features you get the icon portrait landscape or cycle or even hidden if you don't want it and uh, this is the brightness control which i talked about by sliding the status bar you get the uh, changing this brightness which is really cool show note notification count as well as traffic indicators there are tons of tons of customization here i know about this guys but but uh, you can check out my other videos about this room uh, it's really customizable you have the outgoing outgoing incoming uh, style of wi-fi what it does it shows the uh, when your wi-fi or 3g is turned on it uh, shows you how much traffic is uh, going on ongoing or out, uh, incoming you have the auto hide when it's not in use and you can customize it on your needs and uh, the wake clock blocker is also here uh, the wake clocks are the apps and settings the process which are uh, happening in the background so if you block them you get a really good battery life out of it unfortunately I don't know about the battery life of this drone because I just flash it but I'll talk about the battery life as well as in my next video. You also have the animation control because it's based on our KP ROMs. It had this uh, really cool toast animations. You can customize the animation which pop up on device. But I like to keep it on default. And if you notice the list view animation here is on stack and uh, you can customize it on scale, which is really cool. But uh, I, well, I won't go crazy on the customization, so I'll keep it default. And you have the system animations. There are tons of it, guys. I am just, I'm just gonna skip it. And yeah, guys, this is it. You have the, also the sounds, and pretty much it's the same stuff from Sanjay Mode 12. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> this is it, guys. This is the review of Tesla OS on HTC One M7. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't because <clears throat> I'm gonna make more videos about the HTC One M7 as well as thumbs up to this video. If you found it helpful, uh, follow me on Facebook or Google Plus. I'll make some tweets also on Twitter to make some teasers because uh, I really like making those kinds of videos. If you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.